Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to reconnect your HP DeskJet 2600, 2700 or 2800 series back to Wi-Fi. Um, now this should work with all other DeskJets really, they're all pretty much the same thing, they have the same menu, they work on the same app. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll show you how to reconnect it. So this printer, I had it connected to my Wi-Fi and I click the reset button and now when I go on my HP app, it just says unavailable and that's not ideal. No matter how much I reset it, how much I refresh or however many times I press the Wi-Fi button over here, uh, turn it off and on again, um, it just still doesn't come up. And that's usually what happens when you click the setup again. But if you're coming across any issues um, just in general with your printer and you can't connect to it, it is generally a good idea to just reset it up. So what we're going to firstly do, first and foremost, is get the printer into Wi-Fi setup mode. Now, to do this, it's very simple. You're going to hold these two buttons, the Wi-Fi and the cancel button, until you see the on button at the top begin to flash. And so we'll leave that. And now that is in setup mode. So now, if we go back to the app on our phone, and you can do this on the app on the desktop, we're going to click setup or add printer. Um, since it's been reset, it's not connected to the network anymore. So we're going to have to do a new printer. And you can see immediately it's showing up. So we'll click this. Um, the next thing is going to happen is it's going to want the Wi-Fi password for the network that your phone is on. So I'm going to do that quickly and I'll be back. So paste your Wi-Fi password in. That's my network name. We'll click continue. And essentially, it's going to take a while. Oh, this is the, one of the things you have to do is um, it wants to verify that this is your printer. So you're not like someone across the road or some hacker of the Internet trying to reset your printer. So you're going to want to press the information button just once and you'll see the app has verified it. Now, it's going to go through this setup process. I, honestly, this has taken up to five minutes for me. Um, you can see I've just come across this error of Bluetooth connection lost. So we'll click try again and we'll see if that fixes it. So after I click try it again, it fixed it. I don't know what happened there. Um, but um, now I can just go through the menu, click continue, get it to set up with my Wi-Fi. Now, this stage, I find it with HP, when you're setting up a new printer, especially on the HP Smart App, all these things are going to start coming up. You're going to accept this and you're going to have to accept that. And there's going to be probably about... 10 different menus and things that you're going to have to accept. They're going to try and sell you a subscription for ink. They're going to try and they're going to try and do everything. They're probably even going to try to sell you uh, a repairman to come and fix your printer. It's not needed. Um, as you can see, HP Plus. Look, they want to sell me uh, smart printing um, stuff. Uh, you don't need that, in my opinion. You can use it, though, but I'm going to decline. And you're just going to want to continue. Um, they're going to want you to make an account and they want you to pay money. You don't need to do any of that. You've already bought the printer. You know, <laughs> you don't need to pay them any more money. Um, keep in mind, that's probably the... Th oh, look, there's another one. My printer comes with free stuff. Um, we are not going to enable ink delivery. Look, another menu. Um, skip offer. So you, as you can see, they are very, very adamant that you buy something, but uh, take it from me, don't give in, because your printer is going to work exactly how you expect it to work without any of these subscriptions. When your ink runs out, go on Amazon and buy more. You don't need a subscription for it. Um, if you're a business, then maybe, maybe you do, but you shouldn't be using a simple printer like this if you're a business. Um, again, auto updates, just get rid of that. And um, soon... If another menu doesn't come up, your printer should be good to go. Here we go. I want you to do a test page. I know mine works, so I won't do it, but I'd recommend you guys do that. Um, now, this is a link to download the HP software from online. Um, I will skip that for now. Skip. And finally, 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 the printer is ready. And you can see my paper tray is empty. I don't have any paper in there. And uh, yeah, so thank you for watching. Hopefully that helped. This is how you reset up your printer on the Wi-Fi. 
And uh, yeah, cheers. Have a good night.